Hi, this is Alvis Red for Capital Chaos, and I'm here with Blake and Paul from Between the Berry to Me. Now, I wanted to ask you guys really quickly, how does it feel to have a brown man in the middle of both of you? It's like a little sandwich going on right here. It's like I like my, I like wheat bread, so it was. I love it's pretty it. nice. I love it. Yeah, we're kind of used to. We always have brown bread in between us usually. Yeah. Oh. That's how we <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible with this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know. We love it. <laughs> we love having brown men between us. Very it's nice. Very comfortable for How us. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty great about it. It's a um, very new experience for me, I must say. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how does it feel? How does it feel to be co-headlining Summer Slaughter? Uh, feels great. We um, got the offer, uh, I guess, earlier this year. Um, to tour with to do Summer Slaughter and then we found out that it was going to be a co-headliner with Cannibal Corpse and that was just awesome we couldn't really turn that down we're, we're all that was like the first death metal band I ever got into like Gallery of Suicide was the first death metal record I ever got so it's kind of I don't know it's kind of like a dream tour in a weird way it's just one of those I don't know it's kind of one of those things on my bucket list at least like play a show with Cannibal Corpse I didn't even see him before the tour but at least play a show much less do a tour with him it's very cool any other favorites that are on this tour uh the faceless very cool um periphery was very uh I was very stoked that they they're on the tour they unfortunately had to drop off a couple days ago um let's see yeah, I mean, pretty much everyone's great. I mean, it's a good, really good, healthy mix of bands. Yeah, a really good lineup, in my opinion. I don't know, what do, what do you feel about being on Summer Slaughter? Is this your guys' first time on Summer Slaughter? It is our first time, and, uh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, as Blake kind of alluded to, um, it's like a, you know, kind of a dream tour for us to tour with Cannibal Corpse, who are sort of icons in the metal world. And then there's a lot of uh, young bands, you know, obviously the Faceless, Periphery, a uh, job for a cowboy is really good, um, and and kind of legendary bands like Exhumed and Goat Horror. Um, so there's just a lot of really good bands, and and it kind of runs the spectrum of metal. So there's a lot of diversity, and yeah, it's really fun. We kind of thought we were gonna sort of stick out like a sore thumb on this thing, but it, it's kind of worked out really well, and it's been a lot of fun in the progr- in the process. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, also, I re- was it. Uh, my brain's farting on me right now. That sucks. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> you guys have an upcoming album coming out on Metal Blade soon. How does it feel to actually be on Metal Blade now? Is it like a new, fresh start? Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we were on a, another label for the bulk of our career up up to this point, and, um, you know, we had some good years um, doing that, but uh, we needed we needed definitely some a fresh start, something to sort of reignite our our career and uh metal blade has has been that for us so far i mean you know it's been a great we've only released the ep and and of course this upcoming record with them but uh it's been a good experience they're cool people they like what we do musically they kind of give us creative control as far as the music and and you know the art and all that stuff which is which is important to us and uh yeah it's been great i mean it's definitely a good relationship so far very nice so what would you guys say the overall feel of the upcoming album is compared to like I know it's a second part of the EP, correct? Mm, yes, yes, it's a continuation of the Parallax EP. All right, continuation, but like, can you give me um, kind of like an overview of the whole story of the actual concept? Yeah. Uh, are we at liberty to do that? It's if that's it's confidential information, yet. it's not technically out yet, so I don't know if we're allowed yeah, to spoil nice. that. It'd be like a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, it'd be serious. I mean, you wouldn't be able to post it. Be too much hmm. you did a spoiler you alert, but yeah. Well, you could spoil like a little hint. I'll just say yeah, this. Yeah, I could yeah. say this. The <clears throat> the story revolves, for the most part, around two characters um, who exist in different, on different planets, really in different uh, planes of existence altogether. You know, one character exists on a different planet, like millions of light years away from from our earthly character who is the second character and so the ep was kind of just an introduction to those two characters and and it sort of uh implied that there was some kind of connection between these two um and in the full length i'll just say that 
uh, that connection is realized in the physical sense uh, uh, via some sort of sci-fi time traveling means um, and and they they do eventually kind of meet up and and uh, that's about it and then they they're they're sort of mission they sort of take on the task of solving a a problem um, together and that's kind of what the the whole thing's about so What's up, everybody? Max Cavalera, Soulfly, and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos. Oi!